Hello, Econ 420. Um, my name is Ryan, and I'm one of your undergraduate learning assistants for this semester. And today we're going to talk about practice problem five on the open economy um, problem set, which says, suppose that an economy is characterized by imperfect capital mobility and a flexible exchange rate. An increase in the foreign interest rate will cause the domestic exchange rate to X and the balance of payments to shift left by less or more than if the exchange rate were fixed. All right, cool. So we're going to talk about this. So first we want to draw this economy um, to the standards that it gave us, which says imperfect capital mobility and flexible exchange rate. Um, so I'm just going to draw this out real fast. Your ISLM BOP model. Let me draw that out for you all. All right, so R and Y. So here we are at equilibrium. So the first thing that happens is there's an increase in the foreign interest rate. Now what that does is it shifts the balance of payments back like so to a higher interest rate um, represented here. Um, and the reason that it does this, I'm going to show here on your uh, foreign exchange graph. So supply for foreign exchange, demand for foreign exchange, uh, E and FX. Okay, so what happens is that the balance of payments for your domestic economy lowers because more people want to invest their money in the foreign economy. Because since there's now a higher interest rate in the foreign economy, people can make more money by investing in there. Like, if I'm out there to loan money, I can now earn a higher interest rate on my loaned out money in the foreign economy. So I'm, you know, I'm less likely to invest in the domestic one. So as a result, you see a demand, you see a outward shift in demand for foreign exchange because people say that this is the say that we're in the United States and where the foreign interest rate that increases is um, the euro people now need more euros in order to invest in, in the European economy so you see a higher shift so you see an outward shift in demand for these euros um, the flip side of that is now there are less euros available to like assuming that there's no increase in the supply of euros, there are now less euros available in the market if you wanted to uh, if you wanted to get some. So it stays here at the same level of foreign exchange that it was before, but you can see that there's now a higher E, a higher exchange rate for euros. Um, we've talked about it in class, but a higher E translates to the dollar depreciating or weakening. So that's the first half of the question. Just asking what happens to domestic exchange rate, and that's that the exchange rate will rise, causing the domestic um, currency to depreciate. So now the second half of this is um, dealing with what happens when the exchange rate changes. So as soon as this exchange rate changes, you see the BOP move back slightly, like so as well as the IS curve move out. And the IS curve moves out because now that, the, now that dollars are worth less than they were before, it's easier to get them, essentially. You now need less euros to get a dollar. So if you have euros and you want to invest in the US economy, you can now invest more of your euros into that US economy because the dollar is now weaker. So now we're at this point right here. So the other part of the question asks, what happens if the exchange rate were fixed? Well, here, as you can see, when the BOP adjusts, it comes back slightly due to the, high, due to the change in exchange rate. If the exchange rate were fixed, you wouldn't see the BOP curve shift back at all. It would just stay at this higher level, which means that, um, which means that the BOP curve shifts to the left less in this scenario than if the exchange rate were fixed. So the correct answer to this problem is A. Um, if you have any more questions, f please feel free to email me 
slash come to any of the help sessions. Uh, and good luck on your final.